Just feel the love Ah oh, yeah Go ahead now Alright Just feel the love Ooh. Don't stop, don't stop, don't ever stop Just because Hello everyone and welcome back to my visual podcast titled Latinx Heroes Past, Present and Future. My name is Javier Pedrosa and I am your host. As you know, I have created this visual podcast to highlight our Hispanics and Latinx American heroes who are change makers, role models, and pioneers who have worked and continue working towards building a better tomorrow. On today's episode, we'll be highlighting an incredibly accomplished Latinx hero from our past. He was the first Puerto Rican and one of the first persons of African descent to earn a medical degree in the United States. He was a physician, a sociologist, and a political leader who formed the Republican Party of Puerto Rico and was known as the father of the statehood for Puerto Rico's movement. Dr. Jose Ceso Armosa Alcala was born on July 27, 1857 in the city of Bayamón, Puerto Rico to parents of African and European descent. Young Jose Ceso Arbosa was the first person of African descent to attend Puerto Rico's prestigious Jesuit seminary. Colegio San Ignacio de Loyola is an all-male Catholic college prep school in San Juan, Puerto Rico, originally founded in 1858, and is considered a college prep school since 100% of graduates go on to pursue college degrees. After graduating in 1875, he moved to New York City to attend prep school. In 1877, he was admitted to the medical school of the University of Michigan, where he graduated as valedictorian of the class of 1880. He returned to Puerto Rico, where he set up practice and provided medical care all over the island. The Spanish government did not initially recognize Barbosa's medical degree, as it was not from a known European university. The American Council to the island intervened on behalf of Barbosa to have his United States degree recognized and be able to practice in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, an island in the Caribbean with a long and colorful history behind it, is alive with a happy and easygoing population full of culture, music, and great local cuisine. It is an unincorporated U.S. territory with a landscape of mountain, waterfalls, dry forests, a tropical forest, and amazing beaches. The capital name is San Juan, which is the 46th largest city under the jurisdiction of the United States with a population of about 400,000 people. Located between Dominican Republic and the U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico includes the main island and several smaller islands such as Mona, Culebra, and Vieques. The island was originally populated by 50,000 indigenous Tainos before colonized by Spain in 1493. The island's name has changed a few times in its history. The original name is Borique, given by the indigenous Tainos, which means land of the valiant lord. Christopher Columbus named the island San Juan Bautista after John the Baptist and named the first settlement Puerto Rico, meaning rich port, due to the plentiful natural resources. Later, the settlement became the most important military outpost for the Spanish, so the names were switched, and San Juan became the name of the port and military outpost, and the island became known as Puerto Rico. In 1898, following the Spanish-American War, the United States acquired Puerto Rico under the terms of the Treaty of Paris. Since then, Puerto Rico has remained an unincorporated territorial possession, making it the world's oldest colony. In 1900, Barbosa was among the first five Puerto Rican leaders appointed to the executive cabinet under Governor Charles H. Allen, which was the first civilian government organized by the United States. During this period, he founded the newspaper El Tiempo, The Times, 
which was the first bilingual newspaper published on the island in 1907. He served in the cabinet until 1917 and then served in the first elected Puerto Rican Senate until his passing in 1921. His daughter, Pilar Barbosa, became a historian, serving as the official historian of Puerto Rico from 1993 to 1997. She was also a political activist who carried out her father's work. Puerto Rico has declared Dr. Jose Ceso Barbosa's birthday July 27th an official holiday, and in the city of Ponce, there's a school named after him. Barbosa's house in Bayamón has been preserved and is operated as a historic house museum where you can find many of his awards, certificates, books, and other artifacts on exhibit. Thank you so much for spending these few minutes with me getting to know more about our Latinx heroes. In our next episode, we'll be highlighting a hero from the present, so make sure to watch. And if you're enjoying Latinx heroes, please subscribe to my channel. I want to leave you with a quote Dr. Barbosa said, and I quote, Black, 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 I am proud of being a Negro, nor have I ever tried to beg tolerance from anyone. Superiority is not proved by color, but by the brain, by education, by willpower, by moral courage, end quote. Until next time, my heroes, stay curious, be gorgeous, y amable. Gracias. Just feel the love. Oh.